Welcome back, travelers. It is Slider Havoc here, and we are back on Project Ozone 2 on Kappa Mode. Yeah! And because of our outstanding achievements in our alpha area, right? I have really concentrated today on moving towards beta. So there's a couple of this mana magnet, which we're not going to use because our item dislocator is awesome. But we might take a look at the Elven Portal. I don't know yet. But I do want to start working on getting some of these other um, uh, Magical Crops Essence. The Crucio, the Imperio, and the Zvikio, and possibly working our way up. Which means we need to get our regular Strong and Extreme Infusion uh, Stones. Right? And that will also help us get some of these Furnaces here. And so we'll make a lot of progress there. And I do want to get going on these as well. Because I... <clears throat> I just want more diamonds. Really, that's all it really comes down to. I just want more diamonds. And being able to produce emeralds, iron, and gold would be kind of cool. Iron, we have tons and tons of. But I want to eventually turn off the sifting machines that are down there and basically just run, you know, crops. So that's, that's our eventual goal. But right now, what we're in the middle of doing is finishing getting our 36 Terra Steel ingots. So basically I'm just going to do one last fill up here. Did that take all of them? No, oh, it took all of them. Uh, yeah, one last fill up of these tanks using the blacker lotuses. And I will show you how I got so many blacker lotuses and kind of show you what I've been doing in the meantime. I've been quite productive off camera, not trying to do too much, but still maintaining, you know, productivity or whatever. Oh, you need another one. And so I'm, I'm quite pleased at where we're at right now. Um, I added more tanks just because uh, more tanks with more sparks uh, really speeds this process up. It literally like two is twice as fast as one and four is twice as, twice as fast as two. And I'm really trying to get these done. I've only got four more to go and then we'll have all the ingots we need to make the, um, the different infusion stones or whatever. And so we're almost done with it. Uh, one tank... When it's set up like this, one tank can... Well, let me say that. Four tanks, if that makes more sense, like one, you know, one round, I can do seven without having to refill. I can do seven ingots at a time like this. So it's quite nice. It's quite efficient. And I know there's a way I can eventually automate this using, like, Batania drop boxes and stuff like that. But for the time being, it wasn't too bad. This only took me a couple minutes once I actually sat down and said, hey, let's get this done. And so, yeah, not, not too shabby, right? And now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy. And we just have to place it under one of them. I might just place it under this one right over here. Doesn't really matter which one it's under. I just need... Oh, you know what? I was going to say turn my magnet on, but I don't really want to turn my magnet on. Because I'm still going to be dropping stuff, so... All right, so let's go ahead and get that guy into there. So now we'll be able to make our infusion stone. Um, and let me grab this and just close it off. So this one will always have it. And then I'll probably make the other catalyst, the green one, and like put it under this one. But yeah, for right now, we're rocking and rolling on that. All right, so next thing I need to do, let's fill this tank up because I don't know I don't know how, exactly how much mana. I'm assuming it's probably not a lot. When it's, when it's the ones where you drop stuff into, it's usually not too bad. So we'll see. Uh, so there is my four. I don't know if I need a four if I only needed three. We'll see. <laughs> so in here, I've got my other weak infusion stone. And now with that bad boy, I should just be able to, there we go. And if I drop you, come on. If I drop you, yes, you'll become the regular. So you, you, and then the regular becomes the strong. Oh, yeah, we still got tons of mana. Okay. And then you, 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 you. And now we've got our extreme. So we've got our four infusion stones. Awesome. I honestly didn't think it was going to be that easy. Now, this guy, Master Infusion, a little bit different. Check this guy out. I thought we might be able to do them all. I thought it was going to be similar. No, 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 no. With the Master Infusion Stone, check this. A block of mana steel. Easy. Block of terror steel. Easy. Block of Elementium, easy. Block of Mana Diamond, easy. This is where it gets crazy. A block of Dragonstone, well, still kind of easy. Compressed Gaia, check this out. 
This is nine Gaia spirit ingots, which is one Terra steel and four Gaia, which means I need 36 Gaia spirits. And if I remember correctly, you get eight per battle. So that's eight, 16, 24, 32, 34. Oh my God. That's like five battles with the Gaia. That's crazy. That's just crazy, crazy, crazy. Absolutely crazy. So yeah, so that's, a, that's, that's a bit a ways. Um, oh yeah. And then not only that, right. But then also a mass Zavikio block, which is nine Zavikio. So, so that's nine times nine. That's 81 pieces of Zavikio just to get the, yeah. Okay. So that one's a while away, right? We're not, we're not worried about that right now, but we did get all of our, uh, infusion stones, which is really, really useful. Because there's a couple other things we can do in the meantime um, to actually kind of get use out of them. But let's go ahead and claim all of our loot chests for this one first. Because, well, maybe we'll finally get something good. I always pick the bottom one. Let me pick the top one. There we go. Maybe that's it. Maybe the top one's the good loot chest, right? So let's see if we got anything cool and useful. More essence bricks. Another portal gun. And that. Now... I know that you can make one that has other colors too, so I can make two sets. Portal. There's the the blue and the orange gun, right? Those are the default guns. These two. Oh no, that's Atlas's. Okay, so how do I make this one? That's just with the blue die. So that's default, and then that's Atlas's. And then this one with a yellow die makes the other one. And I'm pretty sure those are different colors. So now that I got a second portal gun, let's grab a yellow die real quick. And try that out because I want to get good use out of them. I, you know, I really haven't messed with portal at all. So Peabody's, there we go. And so this one is not, yeah, this one is red and like yellow, right? That's awesome. Cause now we can set up like two sets of portals. That's really, really nifty, right? So we could set up an intricate, you know, set of portals to get around places like, let's say, well, I don't have it. Okay, we'll just do it over here, just for fun, right? So if I put one portal there and the other portal there, right? And like, you know, I wanted to keep going. I could go through one, out the other, into the next and out the other. So I'd ha be able to set up four portals. This is, I'm kind of curious. Oh, they can't touch, okay. So I want you there and you there, right? And then, you there and you there oh craziness craziness oh i love doing this i really do love doing this you can start getting pretty high like this Woohoo! and this is actually something useful that i mean i don't know i could find a way to make this useful but it gives me a chance to really see my bit oh how in the world well guys you just witnessed my death <laughs> How in the world? Um, I wasn't expecting that. What's this? Why, why, oh, why was there one of those on the ground? I don't know. L let me get some building blocks and go get my stuff back. I don't know why I died like that. I mean, I was like at the height, so I shouldn't have been, you know, taking fall damage. That's just kind of crazy. All right. Well, let's be careful with those blocks from now on, huh? Okay. But yay, portals. I mean... I'll take a fun death. You know, it's it's a little defeated, but you know what? I'll take a fun death. I was having fun while that was happening, so I'm okay with it. All right. And let's do a little perimeter around here so I can pick up on my... I was holding shift. What in the world is going on here? All right, let me... all right, guys. So I got all that stuff picked up, and like I said, I'm, I'm actually okay with taking a death as long as I'm having fun, and that was just silly, goofy stuff, and apparently... I died. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I mean, I sh I was like right at the peak of it. That's why I figured I shifted up there. I could just stay up there. But apparently I was incorrect in that thinking. So good lesson learned. If you guys are ever playing, don't do that. That's that's really my words of advice right there. Don't do that. Um, let me go ahead and put some of the stuff back. I think I can put you on. Yeah, just a little bit of extra damage. I'm just finishing cleaning out all this stuff. Let's see if we got anything fun out of this uncommon bag. Uh, the ender, bread, and a bucket. I'll take a bucket. I'll definitely take a bucket. Buckets are always useful. 
Uh, the bread, I don't really care about, but I've got some in there. All right, cool. So anyways, we're going to finish uh, putting all the stuff up because we now have all of our stones. And that makes me very happy. Very, very happy. And we'll go ahead and put the tarot steel in here as well. Cool. Yeah. And now we might be able to make the, the leveled up furnaces, right? So anyways, uh, let me get, let's see, I put you away, put you away. And you know what? Let me put the black lotuses back over here too, because I'm going to need them over here, not in my inventory. So there we go. So now we're going to take a look and see if we can get some of these other furnaces done and see if they're really useful or not. Now, oops. If we take a look, Crucio is the next one and we need 48 of those. Imperio is only 32. And Zavikio is 16. Now, oh, you know what? Let's make that magnet. Let's just get the magnet, magnet, magnet. Um, how do we do that? I think it's with like a red and blue lens. Um, this right there. Okay, so we got to make the magnetic lens. Okay, so we got to make a vanilla. Okay, cool. We can do that. Let me grab four steel real quick. And go make some mana steel. One, two, three, four. There we go. Oh, in there. Eventually, I will remember that that's not how the things go back in, but all right. So let us make up some mana steel. I wonder, can I still do it in here? Yeah, okay. Sometimes the mutations are different, so I got to double check. Come on, there we go. The magnet, man. The magnet pulls stuff back in, or the, the dislocator. All right, cool. So let's look up the magnet again. I need to make you, so I need you. And go like that. Okay, there's you. Then I got to do that with iron and gold. So once those get in there, there we go. Got you. And now, oh, four more mana. Darn it. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's okay. That's easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um... Come on, get them all, get them all. There we go, cool. So we'll have the magnet and that will be another accomplishment. I don't know if I really consider it accomplishment, but it'll be another quest finished. So cool, we'll get the update on that one. Detect. And there we go, got it. Oh, and that was only half heart anyway, so. All right, so we'll go ahead and put you back. Um, I mean, it's useful, but I like the item dislocator better. So I'm not really going to be worrying about it right now. Uh, but I do want to make the halo, the halo, the halo, the halo, right? Yes. Uh, I forget if it's called a manufacturer's halo or there's two of them. And I want the higher level one. This is the assembly halo. That's the manufacturer's. I believe that one is that with a diamond. Yes. Okay. So an ender pearl, a crafting table and three mana steel and then, and a diamond. So I'm going to need... A diamond, a pearl, um, steel. Well, I just need three steel. That's pretty simple, actually. One, two, three. Put you back in there. And a crafting table. And I don't have a vanilla crafting table. <laughs> Let's make one, please. Oh, this is going to do that weird thing again, isn't it? Come on. Oh, I don't know why I even looked up the recipe for something so simple. I'm so used to like, okay, let's make this quickly. And so I'll look up the recipe and then I'll realize, did I really just look up the recipe for a crafting table? Like, did I seriously just do that? And the answer is yes. Yes, I did. I really did do that. So, all right. So let's come on. There we go. And I need a pearl and a diamond. So bink and bink. Hey, I only asked for one. There we go. All right, cool. So then we'll get the manufacturing halo and this will make the the essence thing so much easier. Um, so if I remember, it was you, you, and you. And then, um, no, what was it? Oh yeah, crafting table and a pearl gives us the halo and then add a diamond and we get the manufacturer's one. So this guy is pretty BA, right? So if I just right click, I can craft, right? I can just click on it, craft, no big deal, right? But if I right click over here, like after I craft something, it'll save that recipe. And anytime those items are in my inventory, it will make them. That's pretty BA. 
Now, with that being said, let's get us ourselves some Zavikio. Or not Zavikio. Um, uh, what is that stuff called? What's the green one called? Uh, Minincio. Let's go get some Minincio. And let us get all of the basic levels done. Right? I have... Oh, yeah. I haven't shown you this. Okay. So, farms have started. Right? And I relocated the mob farm. Let me turn off my item dislocator while we're doing this. So I don't pick up stuff. And there's something weird between the item dislocator and this uh, vacuum hopper. But if it's on, I just get free levels. And I'm not, I, I try not to cheat over here. So I'm very conscious about turning it off. Um, yeah, I could just stand here and get levels for days. Doing absolutely nothing. Not cool. I mean, cool, but whatever. All right. So actually, I haven't gotten any enemy over here. That's kind of sad. So what I've done, oh, is first of all, I still have yet to torch this area totally properly. I do need to fix that. Uh, but I did a pretty simple setup just with items that I think I'm going to want and need. And if I notice anything else, I'll do it. I'll turn the chest off occasionally so it doesn't go into the trash can and see if anything's getting dropped in here that I want. And then I can put it over here in the wall. But right now, this is all I've really found that I want. Uh, dimlets, if we ever get into RF tools. Uh, Menencia, which you can see we're up to 42,000. Enderpearls, I haven't gotten any, but I just used a whole bunch when making the Terra Steel. And string, like that's all I've really found useful right now. But then also the bags, they continue under, and I still need to clean this area up here, but they go and fill all the caches over here. And I don't think I really need to do them in the caches, but I have been, uh, just in case I want them, I can eventually put a red zone signal over here and just turn them off. Um, I don't see a reason I'd ever want to do that. But anyways, um, yeah, so they'll fill these autonomous activators. Then the autonomous activators automatically right-click into these chests. And then they're filtering to these items right here that I want. Um, I couldn't filter the artifacts because to grab an artifact as soon as it goes in your inventory, it becomes one of the items. And so let me put that away. Um, yeah, it becomes one of the items, and so you can't do that. So what I had to do is I filter off a pipe over here, giving this a little higher priority instead of my trash can to get rid of the rest of the stuff. And if it is a chest plate or one of these, it'll match up into there. And then whatever's left just goes over to the trash can. So yeah, it's just useful stuff. The blacker lotuses, like I just used a whole bunch. That's why I'm down to 15 right now. But I mean, I've got a decent, oh, see, I did, Emerald just went in. I've got a decent amount of emeralds, decent amount of diamonds over here. I like this setup. It's very simple, but I'll probably end up moving this underground, like flat and flush. I don't like it sticking up like this. And then I can move these walls closer to each other. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But right now, I like the setup. I just need to make it cleaner. And the power is actually really nice. It's coming from this thermoelectric generator that we got from Immersive Engineering. And instead of using water, now I'm using frozen water. So I get a pretty good power source out of it. And I think it's, you know, it's really small and kind of compact. It's like taking... Um, an energy cell with you or having like your own little tester, you can set it up and it's going to run everything in the area. And it, it, it does decently. It, I mean, it's not, you know, phenomenal by any means, but it does decently. And I have set up a couple of these. Now I now have this, uh, dislocator pedestal over here and it connects to the overworld. If I ever want to come and check on the farm or grab anything real quick, because I made this, well, when I built this, I made this 64 blocks out. Because I wanted to put a magnum torch down here. And then that way, nothing would spawn anywhere. You know, it would be outside the range. But apparently, the magnum torch reaches longer than 64 blocks. Oh! Oh! Oh, where'd you come from? Go away! Oh my goodness. I Yeah, I need to put some torches out here. I forgot to put torches. So anyways, this is where I want to kind of finish up today. Is I want to get a, some of these last couple seeds... Uh, right here. I want to get the gold seed, the iron seed, and then we can get diamond and emerald, right? So I've kind of got it set up. Um, I've got it going in right now. I'm producing uh, quartz, redstone, and lapis. And as you can see, I've already got 571 blocks, 467, and uh, 26 blocks of quartz. And if you're asking me why did I put it in blocks and not pieces, because in Batania, and I did look this up because I, I debated it. Do I want regular quartz or can I do the quartz blocks and let it do it in here? And you can throw it back in the Batania pools and it will convert it back into uh, the regular quartz. So I was okay doing that. All right. And so that's why I'm actually carrying these on me right now. Because eventually we're going to get some uh, gold and iron going. And then I want those to be collected over there. 
And, oh, you know what? I'm going to have to go grab one thing that I did forget to grab. And that is some of the blocks to put under. Because with these agricraft seeds, you have to put the ore under it for it to grow. And we're going to start working on... Can we do both gold and... Yeah, we're going to work on the gold plants right now. So, we are going to run up here and grab some gold ore. And I just went to the nether to get some. Oh, let's just do it by gold. There we go. So I just went to the nether to get some. And now we can go ahead and throw you guys in the smelter. Is that where I want you? Get out of there. That's going to give me like two per, three per, right? Six! Oh, wow. That's going to give me a lot more than I thought it was. Okay, cool. Well... Plenty of that. We'll let that finish up right now. And let me go ahead and throw these in there. I was getting ready to make some more um, soul vials. So whenever any more cows appear, we can go collect them. Yes. But um, yeah, so I think I got the gold. Yes, I've got my clippers. I've got everything I need, I think. Yeah, just throw this stuff away. I don't really need it right now. And I have all that in here. Clippers, yeah. Yeah, we're good. We actually have everything we need. Wow. I don't do that too often. Um, <laughs> let's go, and we're going to go make these gold seeds. I Also, I don't know if you guys know um, the cardboard boxes. I actually just learned this. If you break, I broke the cardboard box when something was inside. It picks up the whole item. So that's how I was able to move a lot of these around without having to worry about the items. I just threw cardboard boxes over them. So like this chest full of seeds, I didn't want to have to fill my inventory up with seeds. So I put a cardboard box on it, and then I just picked the whole chest up and moved it over here. So anyways, let's look up the gold seeds. Um, I think they're actually named after the material. Yep. Uh, Ari gold, right? So we're going to need tulips and redstone seeds. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, how am I going to do this? Because um, I'm going to need a block of redstone. What I might do is just do it right here. Okay. So let me... Well, yeah, they're not going to plant anything right here. So we're okay with that. Um, let me turn my item dislocator back on. So I don't lose any of this. Okay, so I'm going to need dirt right here for the gold seeds. Uh, where's my dirt stick? There's my dirt stick. Okay. So dirt's going to go right there for the gold seeds. And then on this side, it was tulips. So we'll do that. And can you can you farm this up for me real quick, please? Come on, Mr. Farmer. There we go. Perfect. Good, good, good. Farm this one up for me. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn you off for just a moment. So you stop farming now. And we're going to grab our tulips. What color was it? Um, pink? Orange? Orange tulips. So here we go. Here's to hoping. Orange tulips. Grow, grow, grow. I'm going to grab my watering can. Make this as fast as possible. I don't think the tulips are 10, 10, 10 yet. No, they're like 2, 1, 1. Okay, cool. So that's there. Now I need to go under and put this gold block down here. Like that. And just put you right there. And now, as soon as I do this, well, it could still be a tulip seed, so that's, that is possible. It could still be a tulip, but hopefully we get our gold seeds. Hopefully we get our gold seeds. Are those gold? Nope, those are orange tulips. Let's try that again. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I don't know if like putting on a block of gold gives it a better chance. Nope, still tulip. This Before I go too much further, this I am doing this right, right? Yes, any soil, basically. Or does it, oh, nope, there's farmland right there. Okay, cool. Um, orange tulip, redstone. This is quartz, not redstone. Let's try that over here. Okay, so let's pick you up, like a so. And so we're gonna put the redstone right here. Right there, we're going to put our block of gold, which I probably already have redstone there. Oh, let me grab my Silk Touch pickaxe. 
so I don't lose the redstone block for right now. Oh, look at that. I didn't even have a redstone block under. That's probably why I only have six there. I need to go uh, put one down there. Okay, cool. So gold in the middle. Right there. Oh, and I'm going to have to move one of those redstones. So I still need the redstone pick. Or I mean the... Need you. Yes, my silk touch pick redstone pick. What kind of nonsense am I talking? Okay. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I always, if you're holding shift, the item dislocator doesn't work. So I've lost quite a few items like that. Okay. There we go. So now you should grow up nice. Nice and pretty. Let's go. Uh, let me get that orange tulip planted too. On this end. There we go. And let's grow, 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 grow. And then hopefully we'll get our gold seeds. And I will be one happy camper. Let me get some gold seeds. Come on. Gold seeds. Gold seeds? Nope, still tulips. It's okay. We'll get them eventually. At least I got the right plants planted this time. Not doing quartz. Come on. Gold seeds. Tulips. Come on, gold. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Ari gold seeds. We got them. Chaching. Now, eventually, I will 10, 10, 10 these. But for the time being, I just want to get them planted over in this section over here. And I've got enough gold to do it. So that's what we're going to do. So let me grab my clippers. Like so. And just get up a whole bunch of you. And yeah, because. This is going to take a while like this, but once we get it, it'll be awesome. And I will be a happy camper. Come on. Grow up a little bit more. Yeah, I'm not going to get a lot of growth until I get these leveled up. But that's that's off-camera kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And do I get a nugget? Oh, well. I don't know what I get, but let me grab you and get this layer done down here. All right, so... I don't know why this blocks here. Oh, that's why that blocks there. It's what's keeping my frozen water. Mm -hmm. Frozen water. That's what it's called. And every time I do that, it like kind of glitches. So, Whoop. Let's see if I can get this done. There we go. I have to break it, then fall, so my item dislocator picks it up. So, all right, cool. Let's make this happen. Gold nugget clippings. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Good. Good. Okay, but we're close. Let's get a couple more. And then I'll go put the seed in the farmer so it knows to leave these alone and let them do their thing. Perfect. Let me break that seed. All right, cool. And I don't really need you right now, so. Awesome. Gold plant. Yeah, I know. I'm excited about that. Um, okay, so gold seed right there. Bingo. You're going to go in my southeast right there. And perfect. Look at you guys go. All right. Now, this is actually what I need. I need to get one of these gold nuggets. Okay. I need to get... enough to make an ingot right there we go so let's get those compacted perfect and then I will put this guy right here and grab these upgrades aha you already went in because you knew what to do there we go and now we are producing gold ingots very very simply awesome Let's turn you back on and you keep doing your thing. And yeah, this one is also being powered by one of those thermoelectric generators. So it's real, real simple. Uh, it's a pretty simple setup. I probably in the meantime, well, in the, you know, coming shorts, I'm going to really get going on the iron so I can get the diamond and emerald because I did spend a long time in the nether trying to get an emerald ore. Um, uh, <laughs> So I could start uh, trying to make those as well. 
But now I do want to kind of finish up going over here and seeing if we can make some um, essence up, right? So we've got plenty of this stuff over here. Let me throw this garbage away that I just picked up because my item dislocator was on. So you go away. I don't need you. Don't need you. Technically, I don't need the Ari Gold. Yeah. Um, Red I don't care. Die, I don't care. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Cool. We're mass producing this stuff now. Awesome. So now we've got that. So we're going to do up a couple recipes real quick. The first one, oh, hold on. Let me throw you away too. Just want to kind of clean up my inventory here. Right? Um, I can throw you away. Don't throw my dirt stick away. I love my dirt stick. All right. Just getting cleaned up. I feel so like clustered if I don't. And I'm going to need all three of you guys or all of you guys. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just grab like an inventory full of Menencio. Because we've already, oops. All right, let me try doing that. Well, I got like a couple, one, two, not too many. There we go, good enough. All right, cool, so we're gonna try our halo out here. So if I take you, put you like that, and like that there we go and then i can set you by right clicking now if i do that it should there's a way to make it automatically do it right so why aren't you automatically doing it i know there's a way to do this right Right, right, right. You've got everything you need. Why aren't you automatically going? So, why aren't you working? I don't know. Let's just make up a whole bunch. It should be automatically doing it. I've done this before. Right? So, auto. Why aren't you working? Hold on, I'm gonna check on this real quick because I know this is supposed to work. I know I've done it right. And it should just automatically take all this stuff and just turn it all into um, Acacia or whatever it's called. So I'm gonna go find out what it's doing and I'll be right back. Okay, so easy enough. I just wasn't paying attention. If the manufacturing halo is in your hand, it won't do it, right? Totally fine. But then I noticed as I took it out of my hand and went here, all of them had already changed. So now we can do the next one and we'll take our regular and take the Acacia or whatever here. And there's that. And then I can set that. That's not the one I want to do. Oh, do I actually have to do it? Okay. So I'll take you and craft that, right? There we go. And then I can set it here. And then as soon as I take it out of my hand, ah, oh, yeah. Crucio Essence being made. And now we've completed that. Awesome. So I'm going to grab a whole bunch more of this because we're going to go back to the overworld real quick. And oh, 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 look at that. It's just, it's doing its thing. It's automatically making a whole bunch of the Crucio. Cool. Bingo, bango. Looking good. Right? So I can just keep, you know, emptying this thing out and just keep making Crucio all day long. Um, but now I've run into a slight problem because I've dropped. <laughs> oh goodness. I dropped the, the stone. Oh, 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 Hey, right there. You're right there, homie. Come here. Okay. Are you guys doing your thing? Oh yeah. You're doing your thing now. Okay, cool. So yeah. So it's literally crafting while I'm running right now. That is so cool. Okay. So we're going to head back to the overworld real quick. We are going to make our Crucio furnace and then we'll try it and see if we have enough. I should have enough to level up to the next one too. Right? So I believe it's just this furnace surrounded by Crucio. Let us, let us see if that recipe is correct. I think it's just that like this. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So now we have our Crucio furnace and that should be an achievement. Yep. Now we can take the halo here. And we take our strong with four crucio. 
and we make Imperio. And we'll save that like over here. There we go. Pick that up. Now I take my hand off. And all of a sudden, now we get the Imperio Essence. Oh, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. And then now I can make the Imperio. There we go. And that's another achievement. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Now we take the Extreme with the Imperio. And now we have Zavikio. And I can just put this like over here. There we go. And I take my hand off. And now we have Zavikio. We have 13. And this should give us a Zavikio furnace. And I have a feeling this guy is going to be pretty quick and sweet. Zavikio furnace. And another achievement. Oh, this is awesome. This is so awesome. All right. Let's see how bad this guy really is. I have coal points. Um, these little guys right here. So I'm going to take seven mini charcoal. And we're going to... I don't know. What should we do? We should do something useful like stone, right? Um, you know, I'm actually always running out of stone, so I'm actually cool with doing a stack of stone. All right, so we're going to come over here to our Zavikio furnace. We're going to throw that coal in. This is seven mini coal. Let's see how many one mini coal does. Okay, first of all, it's fast. It's, I don't think, quite as fast as this guy, but it's still pretty fast. One mini coal does 16 which means half a coal does an entire stack. That's really, really cool, right? And then the only thing I have left is this ultimate furnace, which I believe is the one you need the extreme furnace in. Um, ultimate furnace. Oh, yeah, there you are. Wait, what's different? Active, okay, whatever. And this one, yeah, we need the, whoo, 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 that crazy stuff with the Zavikio furnace and the extreme furnace. Well, I think we're doing pretty good. And I love that the Zavikio is pur purple. It matches my purple hell furnace. Oh, happy days, happy days. And to prevent any crazy crafting when I accidentally pick up Menincio, I'm going to go ahead and put those up here for right now. But that's awesome. That is oh, so cool. So cool. And I'm definitely putting some Zavikio in here. And I should probably put my tulips back, but that's okay. Guys, I think this is a pretty productive episode. I mean, we've gotten, well, I was going to go back this way. We've gotten a good farm set up. So we're getting plenty of materials now and not getting a whole bunch of junk and just isolating exactly what I want. I now have the chest set up. So I actually have them fully. These ones right here are all fully upgraded, right? So if I do this, they actually have three emerald upgrades in them and then a void. So if it does start going over, you know, I think 106,000 uh, Menincio is probably more than enough, at least for the time being. And then hopefully we're getting more of these. I'm up to 17. So that's pretty sweet. And in the meantime, I'm going to continue working on the farm over here. I'm probably going to build another side out on here and start working on the diamonds, the diamonds, the iron and the emeralds. And I think that's what will go over here. So iron, diamonds, emerald, and maybe I'll move the gold over there. I don't know. But those are, you know, definitely the, the next three that I want to look at. And then, you know, this is something simple I can do. Let's claim all of our loot bags first. Hopefully we get some good loot chests, right? I never, oh, I, I think the portal gun was a fun loot chest. So I'll, I'm not going to complain about that one. I didn't claim it. Okay. And Crucio we've got. Um, Imperio we got. And Zavikio, I have 16. I had 16. But I, what? Hold on. Let us, oh, this will actually work. We'll be able to do this so fast. I'm going to put the halo in my inventory along with all four of those cubes. And I'm just going to start making a whole bunch until we get some more Zavikio. So we get that one done. Um, I hear spider running around. Oh, he must be up in there. I'm like, ah, watch out. All right, cool. So... Let's loot, move these guys out of the way real quick. Let us open our ender pouch. So one, two, three, four, and the halo. And I think it just has to be in my inventory. Yes. So we're just gonna make a whole bunch of this. Did I fill up? I gotta stop doing that. Um, come on, pick that stone up. Pick the stone up. 
Come on. Pick the stone up. There we go. Hey, stop popping out of my inventory. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. So we'll get enough of Vicio. So I'll just take him out slowly. And hopefully I'll start getting enough. Okay, so one stack of Menencio. Two, three, four. Gives us one Zavikio. Or sorry, four stacks of Menencio gives us one Zavikio. So we're trying to get up to 16 here, apparently. And then eventually we'll get the Zavikio. All right, I'm going to sit here and pause real quick. We'll come back right after it. Well, I guess we're not that far away. It's just a little bit grindy. Wait, is it using all of it? Am I left? Yeah, I'm left with nothing. So one, two, three, four. That's not too bad. Four stacks, 256 Menencio gives us um, the Zavikio. I can handle that. We've got tons of it. And we'll get more as this mob farm keeps going. The mob farm's only been up for a little bit, so. Perfect. 16. Ah, ha, ha. And that's another achievement. Thank you. All right, cool. And we've now got our gold, so we can do that. Got it. All right. And then, you know what? We can go do some floral fertilizer as we head back to the overworld and open up this loot chest and finish up for the day. Now, this was a little bit longer than what I had intended on doing. I was going to try to keep them down to about half an hour. 45 minutes is manageable as I get used to going back to shorter episodes. So, I guys, I hope you guys are enjoying. I mean, that's the that's the biggest thing. Another portal gun. Another structure generator. Some packing tape. Ooh. I don't know what this is, but I want to know. Rolled up newspaper, Bane of Arthropod. That's awesome. And Wheatstone. Whetstone. Uh, apply the tools using an anvil. Oh, sharpness level three. Interesting. All right, what else do we get? Um, don't really need a lot. Well, actually, no, I do because I'm expanding my operations. I'll always take those. And enriched alloy. Cool. We got some nifty, cool new stuff. The whetstone. That's kind of cool. I wonder if it's a one-time use or if it will add sharpness three to. Let's try that out real quick. Um, I've got the whetstone. Where's my, I have an anvil in here, don't I? I always like to test this stuff out and see how it works. Anvil. There we go. And we'll just plop you down right here. All right, so whetstone and my sword. Sword and whetstone. No, it won't do it. And it's glitching visually. Okay. Yeah, it won't do it to the, the tinkers. That's okay. My feelings ain't hurt too bad. All right, so we'll put that back. And yes, we can put all this back. Oh, I'll get this all cleaned out afterwards. Oh, no, no, no. You stay. Um, I think I threw one of those in there. I want to make sure that I hold on to those bad boys and keep... Haha, ha, there you go. All right, cool. And we'll keep them in my tool bag. That's what I'm calling my ender pouch. My ender pouch is my tool bag. And then... Uh, yep. Well, guys, I think this was a pretty productive episode. We have now really started rocking on B or beta and we should be able to finish it up relatively soon. I can start looking at making some of the, the armor from uh, magical crops, getting the Zavika armor would give me flight. I don't know which one's going to be easier to do this or to, I think this might actually be easier. I might start working on this because I know like I was, I, I don't remember if I said it when I was recording or not, but there's a long line of stuff you have to go through. Um, like if I look up chest plate, right? Um, like a diamond chest plate, right? A diamond plus chest plate is made with a uh, gravity chest plate. And that's made with uh, exoskeleton. And that's made with jade. And that's made with exoskeleton. And that's made with xanite. And you can kind of see where this is going, right? So I might start working on getting all the materials I need to work up the armor. But those armors are a ways away from what I can tell. Yes. But I, I don't know. I'm excited about everything just kind of coming together and, you know, doing this thing. And, you know, I'm just happy. I'm just so happy. We, well, we only got 12 Zavikio. Apparently that's all we have. I thought we had more in here, but it's okay. But we can start looking at making some of the weapons. Because um, a diamond sword, that we can actually do. I don't know if we really need those. I mean, yeah, whatever. 
But yeah, I, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm having so much fun right now. Uh, I, it just an absolute blast, you know, finding all this new stuff and using stuff that I have used in the past before. Oh, now I've got 28. Okay, cool. So we've got quite a bit in there. I, mean, I guess, relatively speaking. For as small as I am and for just getting started or whatever, I'll take it. I will definitely take it. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode and want to see more like it, please hit that like button so I know you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. And if you got any advice for me or any, like, you know, little inputs about things when you see me doing kind of strange things or making mistakes or whatever, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. And if you are new to the channel and you want to see more stuff like this and kind of watch a newer-ish player, I call myself, because I haven't played with a lot of these mods, kind of go through this and learn it and, you know, kind of see how we can tie it all together, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. All it's going to do is send you a little notification letting you know when I've posted a new video, and that's it. It won't harass you or anything like that. So until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slaughter Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.